Good day. I'm Alexis Martino, and we have a special guest filling in for Mark today. Hi there. I'm Danielle Minzenberger, and welcome to STV News. Your topical solution to alleviate that burning desire for strange but true news. In today's episode, we will discuss Good Samaritans Gone Wrong, Dog Sled Quickies, Tug a Drug War, American Alkies, and Panty Quilts. This is STV News. interesting way that a ruling went. The family of the late Roger Kreitz filed a lawsuit in St. Louis in March over the fatal head injuries he received when a car knocked him down at a Starbucks parking lot in 2008. The driver was Aaron Poisson, who was trying to get away from Kreitz, but Poisson was not sued. According to the lawsuit, the cause of the fatal injury was negligence by Starbucks because it had mindlessly placed its tip jar in full view on a counter. Thus, according to the theory of the lawsuit, goading Poisson into snatching up the money and running out the door and inspiring Kreutz as a good Samaritan to chase Poisson and try to retrieve the employee's tips. I guess being a good Samaritan isn't always a good idea. Dee Dee John Rowe, leading the Bear Gris Sled Dog Marathon in northern Minnesota, took a wrong turn and went 300 yards before recognizing her error. The mistake cost her only a few minutes, but stopping to calculate where she was allowed her team to have an unsupervised rest, and by the time she was ready to turn the sled around, two of her dogs had begun to copulate. She was forced to wait on them for 25 minutes and lost the lead. Motorist Joel Dobrin, age 32, was pulled over in a traffic stop in February in Morrow, Oregon, and rushed to hide his alleged drug stash, which was in a sock. However, his dog intercepted the sock for an impromptu game of dog tug of war in the car. Dobrin won, but lost his grip, and the sock flew out the driver's window right in front of the officer. Dobrin was cited and later indicted for drug possession. Goes to show, sometimes man's best friend isn't always thinking of your best interest. Prevailing medical authorities 20 years ago warned that few humans could survive blood alcohol readings above 0.40%, but in recent years, drivers have rather easily survived higher numbers. Curiously, many from Wisconsin, such as the man in February in Madison, Wisconsin, with a blood alcohol reading of 0.559, in 2007, an Oregon driver was found unconscious but survived with a .72 reading. The plethora of high numbers might indicate mistaken medical teaching or non-standard machine measurements or an evolutionary hardiness in American drinkers. Here's a doozy. Lewis Shovelhead Garrett is an artist, a mannequin collector, and a quilter in the eastern Missouri town of Louisiana with a specialty in sewing quilts from women's panties, according to a report in the Hannibal Courier Post. After showing his latest quilt at a women's luncheon in Hannibal in March, he told the newspaper of his high standards. He said, no polyester, I don't want those cheap dollar store not sexy farm girl panties, I want classy silk or nylon. Oh yeah, nylon, that's really classy. Well, I hope you're ready for something fabulous. It's time for Tuesday's Top Trending Twitter Topics. I want to say, sorry Jesus for dancing with the stars last week. Nancy Grace was all, happy birthday little Wayne with her wardrobe malfunction. Why now? Bad Girls Club was on my Yahoo feed. So, I know it's real. And, the way I see it, Miley Cyrus and Susan Sarandon should totally star in a movie called Love Men Should Follow. And now, I believe it's time to hear a little bit more from our guest host today. I now welcome Fashion Forecast with Danielle Minzenberger. Why, thank you, Alexis. I'll jump right in this week with the fashion due from Miss Anne Hathaway, channeling some kind of gorgeous royalty in an Alexander McQueen dress. She does that well, doesn't she? And I'm disappointed that the photo's caption failed to mention where the shoes are from, because I want to eat them up. <laughs> I am rather distracted by the gentleman in the back row, though, who's clearly both lost and unimpressed. Whatever. I liked it. And our fashion don't comes from the show Modern Family. The sensitive cowboy look that Cameron is going for? 
Yeah, milkmaids love it. I don't. No one can pull that off, really, unless you're the homeless cowboy that keeps trying to follow me home. That's it for tonight, my lovelies, as far as your fashion forecast is concerned. Unfortunately, our own Rolando Eloso Perez is a little distraught over the Bears losing to the Packers, so he won't be making it in today, but he will be back next week with Barely Educated. Back to you, Alexis. Thank you, Danielle. You know your fashion. Well, you all know what's coming up now. It's time for our Tata Temptress, the darling of drag, Darla Day. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hit that up, bitches. Look at my tatas. They're so big and beautiful. Uh, I want to dance for everyone. Oh my god, what did I think I just fell out? Something fell out. <laughs> Let's hope it was the microphone and not me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Starla J, and I'm here to entertain you. Let me entertain you. Let's have a real good time. Bet you thought I was going to drink that, didn't you? Not today. Maybe another day. However, it's time for Darla Day's Daily Dose. Today's topic is bicycles. I have just a few issues with bicycles. I love to ride a bike. However, there are some rules and regulations we should follow as bike riders. Number one, you should have a license. You should actually have to be tested to ride your bicycle. Because riding your bicycle isn't exactly an easy thing to do. Neither is driving a car. And you should actually pay attention to the rules of the road, just like a car should. You should stop at stop signs. You should be aware of the other traffic around you. You should be aware of everything around you. And number one... Number one, you should have a license. And number one, first of all, you should always, always wear a helmet. Because you never know when some jackass in a car might hit you and spill your guts all over that place. At least with the helmet, it'll catch your brains and you'll have something left to give your parents. That's just a little hint from Darling Day to you. Well, that's all for today's stupefying newsflash. Yep, the stories are still true and still crazy weird. Remember, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next week, I'm Danielle Minzenberger. And I'm Alexis Martino. Stay, Stay sassy, sassy, people. Oh yeah, nylon. That's really classy.